Good afternoon, coaches. This is Coach Anthony Williams, uh, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. Uh, Connected Athletics is a new company, small uh, startup company based in Austin, Texas. We are focused on providing a platform for student athletes to connect with other student athletes, for student athletes to connect with coaches during the recruiting process, and to help them transition and build their brand as they go on to college and then after college, whether it's to the NFL or into the career of their choice. We have got a fast rising uh, junior on the show today uh, from the Houston area. He is a class of 22, uh, offensive tackle, DN, uh, very athletic. His name is Patrick Williams Jr. Patrick, how are you doing today? Doing good. Good. Hey, so I know right now, before we get into the video, uh, we're all trying to be safe with COVID 19. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing to stay in shape. I know you were working out earlier this morning, right? Oh, yes, sir. Um, today, we did 16 100s. And we go down, and then when we're on the way back, we have to backpedal the way back. So go down 100, backpedal 100. And we did 16 of them, and then we did some, like, some core workout. What we did push ups, um, push ups, dips, and um, pull ups. And we did like sets of five. Of them, 10, 15, 15, I mean 20, 15, 15, uh, 15, 12, 12, 12, 10, 10, and we just went down from there. Okay. So it sounds like you're working on both strength and uh, endurance and speed? Yes, sir. Great. What about uh, some of your footwork as an offensive lineman? Uh, what are you doing in, for that kind of workout? Uh, we've been on ladders. We've been on ladders and like climbing the hills, working on getting up the hill. Okay. Well, so obviously you're working hard, staying in shape, getting ready for the season. Before we jump into the heart of the interview, I want to show some of your tremendous highlight video um, and have you just kind of talk us through uh, what you're thinking, who you're playing against, and what was going on. You ready to do that? Yes, sir. All right. Let me uh, share the screen here. All right. Can you see uh, your huddle video about to start? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to hit play. And then just kind of talk us through who you're playing, what you're thinking, and what's going on in each play. Um, I want to say this is Clear Falls. I was thinking, like, just try to get my man out the way and get away for us to play. And on this one, I was just trying to get real physical with the guy, not trying to stop. This was from Creek. Try to come off on a real good, nice, um, a real clean block, two man block combo. This, I just wanted to pick up the, the first man I seen because I really didn't have a man in front of me. Oh, I was just trying to blow yeah. someone up. Wow. This, I want trying to fit. I, I really wanted to finish him on the sideline, but. It got really close to that. Patrick, you're athletic and a big guy. Can you play also the interior? Can you play a guard or move inside? Or do you like playing tackle? Uh, I can play anywhere on the field, Coach. Anywhere that okay. Coach needs me. Real speedy guy. Try not to let him beat me to the outside or the inside. Do you feel you're stronger in one part of your game? Are you stronger at pass rush or at run blocking right now? Are you equally good at both? Um, uh, I'm going to stop the share. Okay. So I had to stop the video because we we had some breaking up with you. But um, just tell us a little bit about your your approach at, as an offensive tackle, especially on that important left side. Tell us what your mindset is as far as protecting the quarterback in your passing game. Um, I just be thinking about like keeping the the getting our quarterback least banged up because once your quarterback is the most least banged up quarterback, most of the time going around, I mean going deep into the like playoffs and stuff that your quarterback could survive more in the playoffs and he could be at his best. 
Okay. We're not getting hurt. And if I let up a sack or anything, I make sure I pay for it because I know quarterback one of the strongest parts of the team. So big access. Okay. Patrick, you're listed right now, 6'4", 227. How big do you think you'll be by the time you graduate from high school? Is there a lot of height and size in your family? Yes, sir. What, 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 what do you think your height and weight will be by the time you graduate in two years? Um, I want to say about 6'7", 280. Okay. That is tremendous size. Let, let's switch gears here. Let's talk about your academics. You got a really solid 3.2 uh, GPA. Talk to me about the importance of academics uh, as a student athlete. Um, I just know that academics is going to get you a long way, even as soon as you get to college. Sometimes it's not all about playing ball. And I love ball. I want to go pro. But, you know, if that don't work out, your education is always going to be there. So you do anything you want with education. Okay. I like it. Um, tell me about as you're going into just your junior year here. What are some of your strengths? And I say weaknesses, but what are some of the things you were going to work on during your junior campaign? Just getting better, because this is my first year playing that tackle, and I think I got a lot more in the tank to improve and um, help me out. So on my junior year, just be an even bigger season. Okay. What, what position did you play before your left tackle your freshman year? Um, I only played the end my freshman year and tight end. Okay. So you are tremendously athletic, so you can play a lot of different positions. Do you foresee yourself staying at offensive line as you move into college or no? Um, like I said earlier, I just I just want to do what's best for a team and wherever they want me to play. That's why I do my best at and play at that position. Okay. I hear I like that. So from an offensive line perspective, there's a lot of good offensive linemen in the class of 22. Tell me what differentiates you from the other linemen in your class. That I wanted more, Coach. I just – my work ethic is tremendous, and I just want to get out to everybody I see in front of me. Okay. I like it. Um, tell me about um, your coaching staff. Uh, obviously, the importance of a player's relationship with his coaches is important. Tell us about your relationship with your position coach and your head coach over there at Dickinson. Um, my, me and my position coach, we really got a good bond. We've been kicking it since, um, since we first came into freshman camp for football. Me and um, my position coach has been real cool. Since everything, we just get along. And he, uh, he's one of the reasons that I came to this position to left tackle to uh, help out the team. And... And it put me in a good position that I am right now. And me and our head coach been, I've been knowing the head coach um, of the high school since like eighth grade year. He used to always come, did being at the middle school and come look at us and come to our games and stuff like that. And we just got a good bond. Okay. Tell me about somebody not involved with football who's had a influence in your life. Maybe a, a teacher or a counselor or somebody else in school has helped you out, get to where you are today. Um, my football slash AAU coach, um, his name is Coach Green, and he always, he was always there, like, football and basketball. I've been um, around him a long time, and he's a good man, and he just, just bought a dog in me and wants me to get after everything. Okay, I like it. Good. Okay. Um, let's talk about recruiting a little bit. Uh, you've got, you know, a good number of offers. Tell us where you are, who you're hearing from, who you want to hear from, and uh, just your recruiting experience so far going into your junior year. Um, the experience so far is it's, it's good. Like, um, it's it's just amazing that I just sit in this position and here to be um, blessed with all these offers from big colleges and just all colleges that's just looking at me. I like any college that's looking at me, and I want to get to know every college. I want to – I just want to be in a, a, the best position I could win in and get a good education and still go somewhere to play ball. Okay. I like that's fair. What are some of the things – I know you're only going into your junior year, but what are some of the things you're looking forward to being a, a, a student athlete at the college level? Um, I want to just – I want to just take it um, one step at a time and just look at all my options and see, like, 
where fits me the best and puts me in the best place where I know my education and and myself would be good at in good learning environment. Okay. Have you thought about what you might want to major in when you get to college? Um, I want to go, I want to major in engineering. Okay. And then uh, let's say, let's fast forward. You play four great years. Uh, maybe you have a 10 year NFL career. After football's over, what would you want to do in life? Um, I would like to be a barber. That's another dream that I got and I like. I would like to just be a barber, just sit back in the shop, cut everybody hair, and just chop it up with all of the men and the older young ladies that come in there. Okay. Have you, I know it's early once again, but I'll ask you, because a lot of college coaches don't want to hear this. Do you have, you and your family have a criteria of what's going to help you select what college you go to? Will they be based on scheme, culture, family environment, distance from home? Have you come up with that list yet? No, sir. Okay. So you're open, pretty much open to everything? Yes, sir. Okay. L let's talk about you as a student athlete away from football. What, what do you like to do in your spare time? Are you, uh, got, do you like to hunt? Are you a fisherman? Do you like to hang out with your friends? What do you do away from football? Um, I like to, I like to hang out with my friends. I like to, um, be with my grandparents a lot and go fishing and go hunting and playing the game all the time with my friends in the garage and just having a good time. Okay. What do you, when you go hunting, what do you hunting? You talking about, uh, hogs or, or duck or what? We, we do both. We hunt hogs and ducks. Okay. Sometimes uh, deer fishing, season. What's your favorite? What kind of fish you like? You like trout? You like going deep sea fishing? What, how do you like fishing? Um, uh, we really like we be really like um uh, saltwater fishing. We just go just fishing for fun. Okay. Catching, we just really like to catch and release unless we just want to go out on a big day and just go deep sea fishing. Okay. Uh, Pat, do me a favor and uh, slide back a little bit. We're only getting the very good top of your head. There you go. That's what you're looking like. Um, so let's say somebody watches you play for the first time this fall. Uh, who are, who is your dream going to remind them of you at the college level or pro level as an offensive lineman? Um, is there anybody that you pattern your game off of? No, sir. So you just you're trying just trying to be the best be the best person you can be in that position. Yes, sir. Okay, I ain't something wrong with that. Uh, simple question. Tell me why you love football. It's just a game, of, a game that you go play and just go beat up on people with not getting in trouble or causing anybody to um, go to jail or anything. Just a place where you can just have fun and stuff, like build bonds of friends, close friends. Most of your close friends at the high school will be friends that you play football or play sports with. Yeah, I hear that. Hey, dealing with adversity is a big part of playing football, whether it be injury or maybe something personal. Give us an example, uh, either personally or dealing with football, that you had to overcome adversity. Um, my coming into 10th grade summer, um, I was playing basketball, and I had, I had got on a fast break, and dude had passed me the ball. I tried to go dunk the ball. Dude stepped in front of me, so I hurry up and try to step, step another way. He stepped on my foot, and I twisted my ankle. So coming back in the football, I had to sit out a long time and sit out some months. And just like I was saying, like, this is my first year playing left tackle. So it was hard to come in and not, like, go through the summer and learn a lot of stuff because of my ankle. So when I had to come in, I had to come in fast and, try to get back in the groove because I wasn't working out. I couldn't really work out but up the body. So I was just trying to get back in the groove and hurry up and get back at the fast start. Okay. So obviously you play, you're very good at basketball. I've seen some highlights of you. Is basketball something you're thinking about maybe trying to do in college or no, or just football? Um, It, would, it wouldn't be bad, but I like to really play both if I ever get the opportunity to play both basketball and football. Okay. Who, who do you pattern yourself after on the basketball court? Or who does your game sim, uh, seem like? Um, just me, because I just go out there, try to be a big dog, and get some points, get a lot of boards, and get a lot of blocks. That's just the things I like to do. 
It's just fun. Are, do you focus on low post or can you take somebody outside the three point range and, and, and knock down a three on them? No, nah, I just like, I like to stay in mid range. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, once again, in your spare time, tell me, uh, we're in, uh, obviously with COVID-19, you spend a lot of time with your family. What are you doing to kill time? Do you play video games? Are you on apps? What are you doing in your spare time? Um, we just been, I've been playing video games and just working out and getting up every morning just to work out and, um, just doing that stuff. Being outside with my little nephew, teaching them stuff. Okay. Are you an NBA 2K guy? Are you a Madden guy? What video game or Call of Duty? What, which game are you playing? Um, I play Madden and 2K. Okay. And then as far as your phone, I know your kids spend a lot of time on their phones. Are you a Twitter guy, Instagram, Snap, TikTok? What, what are you doing on your phone? Um, I just – I really do all of them. I just got a one, got a next one, got a next one, see a couple of stuff, then just get off of it and then get back on the game. Okay. And then I have to ask, you know, when we get on the other side of this COVID-19 thing, you start getting outside, hanging out, how's your shoe game? Are you a shoe guy? You got What, what are you rocking your feet right now? Um, I really like all shoes. Like, if they look good to me, I'm going to get them. Uh, <laughs> I like rocking um, – you're rocking a lot of Jordans and Air Force Ones and, like, bands and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Let's fast forward to next season uh, pregame. Uh, what what do you listen to in your playlist? What artists do you listen to to get you hyped before a game? Um, I think I well in the locker room we all be listening to like NBA YoungBoy or just a new song that just came out or whoever's hot is at the moment. Okay. Tell me, you obviously you're Dickinson. You guys have a lot of talented athletes there. What's it like playing with several other D1 athletes? It's competitive. Like, we all just trying to get at it. And we just all want to be, be the best that we can. So we just try, we got to practice and we make each other better every day. Okay. Give a shout out to some guys either on your team that you feel should be more heavily recruited or some players that you have gone against that you respect their grind. Um, I got a couple players on our team. Um, uh, the guard that plays next to me, um, uh, Trevor Orlo. Uh, he's he's an outstanding player, tall, good leader, and good good fast feet for uh, a six two, three hundred pound guard. Like he just he's just tremendous at what he does, and he always he's always at at his point, and he's just good and like. Our DN Mallory Tate, he's he's a um, he's a um, good DN. Like, he like always pushes me every day. Like he always make we always make each other better. He gets me out of him sometimes. Well, mostly I be getting him, but he <laughs> just we all just be competing. What about some opponents? Uh, is there a is there a D is there a DN or linebacker that you've gone against? You like man, that, that kid's pretty good. Mm. No, not really, Coach. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, you mentioned Coach Green earlier. Tell me about some other people uh, who have been very influential in your life at this point. Um, Really kind of been like my little league coaches that always just been there. Like, I got a coach named Coach Johnson. And he's, always, he's always been there. We always work out. I've been playing with his son since – since Lily and they're like most most of the coaches from Lily is the reason why I can't at Dickinson because a whole little group from Lily, most of us went to Dickinson or they went to Lamar. So I chose to go to Dickinson and it made me the player I am right now. Okay. Well tell me, so in hearing that, uh let's fast forward to two years. You're about to make your decision. Uh, for where you're going to college, who's going to be involved and help you make that decision? Your parents, Coach Green, who, who's going to be, uh, who should these coaches know is going to be an uh, influence here? Uh, just probably my parents. Okay. Do your, have you, were your parents, did they play any sports in high school or college back in the day? Uh, my dad played football. He played at Dolby. 
He went to college at TCU, but I don't know if he played football there or not. Okay. And then let's let's fast forward even further. So you have a great college career. You're in New York City. We just watched the NFL draft last week. Who was sitting at your table waiting for your name to be called at the NFL draft in two years? My mom, my dad, probably my cousins and my auntie. Okay. Good deal. Um tell me about um so yeah, I know you mentioned basketball. Are you also a track guy? What are you doing? What are you doing to stay, you know, quick, fast? Do you throw the shot? Do you run or do you play any other sports? Um, I ran track, um, and I also threw, um, I used to run hurdles. I was going to do it this year, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to or no, did I want to get back in it, because, um, I don't know, I just wanted to take a little time off when I first did it. When I first did it, I won district in the 110, and I won second in the 110 in hurdles, and First in the 300 meter hurdles run, but that's all I really did. And I threw shot in uh, this. Wow. Patrick, one of the things that impresses me about you is your size and ability. I mean, playing basketball at a high level, track, running the hurdles. I mean, uh, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of college coaches are, are, are seeing that talent, and that's why they're, you're getting so many offers. Talk to me about, you mentioned it earlier, talk to me about leadership. You know, you're obviously a highly recruited prospect at Dickinson. What are you doing to help those underclassmen who are about to play on varsity with you this fall? So, well, I just tell them, just take it serious. Take the game serious. And the game will take you serious back. And you just, just make you a better player. We just take the game serious. Okay. And then lastly, tell me about, uh, you know, what are you doing to give back in your community? Are you involved with your church? Is there a Boys and Girls Club? What do you do to give back? Uh, I go around our neighborhood and, like, help people move or, like, just go help. Like, my mom posted on Facebook if anybody needs help moving or anything, and I go help people. Okay. And I, like take care of my great grandma. She's 96 and I go over there and take care of her a lot. Well, that's awesome. Um, the type of learning style that we all have, there's obviously, you know, there's three major learning styles, your verbal, your visual, or your physical. How do you best learn as a student and as a football player? Um, really, I think all three ways. Like I could get it at any um, standpoint. Okay, but no preference? No, sir. When you're getting ready for games coming up this year, are you a film guy? Do you like to get into the film? Are you a scouting report guy? Or you just like to kind of show up and just dominate and play the game as it goes? A um, little bit, a little bit, of all of it, because I like, I like watching some film on people, but I'm like, film really never always tell you how good your opponent can be. Because you don't know about the other opponent in front of him, how good he is. Into like, or you just played them people before. So I like, I look at all three of them. I like looking at the scout report, seeing the size, see first on the first drives and the middle of the game and at the end of the game, how the opponent is, and see if they're attacking the ball like they're supposed to. If they're not doing that, I just know on Friday, go, 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 don't stop, don't stop, because he's not going to keep attacking. You just, tackle at, at the best as you can. Okay. L let me ask you this as far as, um, you know, why do you think your game is going to translate to the college level? I'm aggressive, coach. I just – and I just want to work. I just want to be a dog, coach. I just want to get out there every play. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, do you have an idea on uh, what's going to be probably the single most important factor to you making a college decision? Will it be proximity to your home, to your residency, or are you willing to go anywhere in the country? Um, willing to go anywhere that that just fits me best. That I think that's best for me. Okay. Do you have any individual goals set for your junior season, uh, all state? Uh, MVP, what do you have set as goals for yourself personally? Um, this year I just want to get everything first team. Everything first team. Everything I could get first team. 
our district, our county, our state. Um, well, I don't know. Just first at everything I could get. First at okay. pancakes and <laughs> first at not letting most sex come through or nothing like. Just want to be first. Want to be the top player in the country. Okay. Well, and you guys have a lot of time coming back. Tell me about have you had have you had a chance to talk with your teammates about what the team goals will be for this year? Um, just go go get the state title. Just we just want to work and attack. We all coming in this season hungry. So, um, I hope no teams ever think we'll push over because we we we're not lay down for nobody because we just want to attack. Okay. Well, lastly, we have a, there's a thing, a term called the 30 second elevator pitch. If you have a lot of coaches watching this interview, take this next 30 seconds to tell these coaches what they're going to get from Patrick Williams Jr. if they bring them on to the program. Um, they'll get, they'll get an act, a athlete that just, just want to do everything the coach tell them to do, try to perfect every, every little thing and get stronger, get better and do what's best for the program, man. Best for the school, get my good grades, and have, keep a high GPA in play, bowl game football, and just want to get to bowl games and just help the team out. Okay. I like how you keep things simple, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, Patrick, man, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, we really do appreciate it. I, can't, I look forward to watching you. Uh, on the field this fall. Good luck. Be safe. And we'll see you on the football field, okay? Yes, sir. All right, man. Have a great day. You too.